Okay, so after letting this sit overnight with red Loctite on it and that piece of aluminum that I put over it to hold it in with the two clamps, now I can put the two square cut O-rings in. Okay, and it looks like that with the O-rings in. Now I'm going to put the pump housing on it. Okay, now that that's bolted on, next thing I'm going to do is install the seal. And although it looks like it's upside down, that is the proper way. It's to keep water out, not to keep oil in. I installed a new guide ring and the seals installed. I'm going to put the filters in and drain plug. This filter goes in here and it goes in like this with the grab piece sticking up. Same with the next filter goes in here goes on with a new o-ring this cap goes on with a new o-ring and then the drain plug all three of these caps are the same so they're interchangeable and they all have new o-rings next thing i'm going to do is install my b solenoid and that goes here and the part number for that is 15697 the b solenoid has three o-rings one two three the studs have a tendency to break after they get rusted, so I always like to put a little never seize on them up here. This solenoid gets this bigger thin spring. It goes in first. It gets this check ball. You can see it sits up in here perfectly. That goes in next. And then you just screw it in. After it's installed in the block, set the solenoid itself on, along with the lock washer and the nut. Now we're going to install the valve for pressure adjustment here. The first thing you do is you take this O-ring and you put it down in there first. And I use a 10 millimeter punch. And then you take the next O-ring and you put it down in there. And again, I just set it in place with this 10 mil punch. Like that. The next thing that goes in is this part of the valve. The skinny part goes in that first o-ring and I put in and it slides up over this part and to help it do that I put a little bit of hydraulic oil on it just to help it slide in and not catch now I install this lower valve part in with the o-ring already in it now I just give it a light tap with a rubber mount to make sure it's all the way down And you could hear it right there that it's all the way down. And then this kind of goes, this goes through it all. You can see the Teflon ring I put on there comes in the kit. That face is down. So it goes like this. Put the sleeve keeper on. And you put the lower spring retainer and it faces up also like that. You put the sleeve keeper on. This drops down into that piece we already installed, like this. This one gets the longest and the thickest spring. Put this adjuster piece up inside, like that. And just kind of take and put this on, and you screw this in. Take a small adjustable here and turn it in like that. And then I take and turn this down. They say the initial adjustment on this is to turn it all the way in till it stops and then take it back like a quarter turn at the most. They say the width of a razor blade. That bolts all the way in and I take it out until I can slip a razor blade in there. They say it's around a quarter of a turn. Right there, the razor blade goes in. There's a little over a quarter turn. And now we're gonna put the cap on. Cap gets a new O-ring. You don't wanna over tighten this cap. People have a tendency to over tight them. These are known to weep a little bit of oil. In this bottom valve portion, it gets, gets a ball bearing gets the thick short spring and then the Allen 
bolt with a good with a new o-ring on the opposite side of that bottom one it gets this it gets this valve and you put the smaller end in first but first I like to put a little oil in there and oil on the valve put the smaller end in first once that's in I like to get a screwdriver and make sure that it's moving like it's supposed to move and it is now I put the upper bolt in and it's got a new o-ring next on this block gets the hose connection with a new o-ring like that the last part of this is the C solenoid it's important on this that when you replace the o-rings it gets back up an o-ring Teflon backup, O-ring, this is an O-ring, and then there's a rubber backup. Now the kits usually come with all Teflon, this one came with the way you see. And then you have an O-ring down at the base. That screws in here like this. And then you put the green wired solenoid, and you want that wire to be coming off the back like that. First thing it gets is an o-ring on the shaft, like that. Then this piece goes on with the taper side down and the lip side up. Next it gets the lip seal and that slips down over that, slips down over it like that. Then it gets this. And then the lock nut. Okay, next I'm going to install the hydraulic ram. You have this O-ring that goes down in here. You set that in. Before you put the studs on, this plastic piece goes on the solenoid block side. I'm going to put a little Loctite on the studs because if I have to take the nuts off, I don't want the studs unscrewing. Okay, after you put your studs in, you put your filter screen in. Next, I'm going to install the ramrod into the tube. Lip seal goes down. This is going to be the bottom. And up here is with the double step is going to be the top. You want to lube this up with oil real good. And then you want to slide it in from the bottom so that the lip seal collapses down around it. You can see I have a liberal amount of oil on that lip seal. There it is installed. Next thing I'm going to do is coat the lip seal with some oil and the guide. Get everything nice and lubed up. Then you want to install the washer. The grooves go towards the cylinder like that. Then you install this dampener washer. Now you install the cylinder. Before you install the outer cylinder, you got to put the O-rings on the body. Also, you install an O-ring on the cover. And you slip on the outer housing that holds the oil. After you install that, now you install the top lid and you want to make sure that the fill is out front. Now you torque them all down. This is the A valve. It gets a backup and then an O-ring. And also has an O-ring here. The A solenoid goes in here. And it will never seize on the stud, the coil, and then the nut. When you're installing the solenoid section, there's three O-rings that go in here. It goes on like this. 
It's important on these bolts to never seize the thread, plus make sure that you never seize underneath the head. Okay, now the solenoid block's on. Now I'm gonna put the studs in. Now I'll slide the pump section on it. And put the nuts on. Okay, now that's bolted on, I'm gonna put the electric motor on. Okay, the lower plate in the electric motor has a bearing in it. And I suggest you check that bearing to make sure it's good. This one, it's excellent. Okay, now I got the electric motor on and that puts it back together. Now you just fill it with oil right through here and I'll put the wires back on, but that's pretty much it. D1 was a ground that ran from here over to here and then to the harness. And A2 went to the battery in the harness, the positive. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I appreciate you watching and have a great day.